These are some of the new faces of Ukraine's rebel army. These recruits, part of a battalion of Don Cossacks, are on their way out of Donetsk to a piece of wasteland for weapons training. Their targets are the faces of Western-leaning Ukrainian politicians, including Prime Minister Artsenyi Yatsenyuk and former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko. It's been months since the Ukrainian government launched a so-called anti-terrorism operation to retake the east of the country. But these Cossacks have a long tradition of defending the Russian Empire. To them, the offensive felt like an armed invasion by a government they were already suspicious of. Sasha, their commander, was an economist and businessman before the war. He travelled to Kiev and had friends there, but now he says no one there understands why he's fighting. They think that we are terrorists and pro-Russian citizens, but I do not think like this. We were born as Russians in our blood, and we are living in our land. As a rule, we have no contact with 90% of our old friends on western Ukraine, and there is a massive lack of comprehension between us and them. The use of artillery and rockets in built-up areas by both sides has led to many civilian deaths and huge damage to property. And instead of discouraging the rebellion, these men say it's obligated them to join up. Spiker worked as a miner until his village was largely destroyed by shelling. A lot of my neighbors were killed. A lot of my friends who I worked with before were killed. All the houses and churches on my street were ruined. The children's playground and school were ruined. The men say they're most concerned about the volunteers coming east to fight for the government, some of whom are part of far-right political movements. It's here that one can see the lingering effect that World War II has had on the region. Many women and men were fighting on the side of the USSR and the coalition. The western part of Ukraine was under Hitler's coalition, and that is the reason why today we still have a lot of far-right nationalist organizations. Weapons training ends with a demonstration of explosives, using old equipment from the coal mines. Despite the ceasefire, these men say they expect the fighting will start again soon. In this war, one side thinks they're fighting terrorists, the other side thinks they're fighting the Nazis. And the longer the fighting continues, the more polarised this region will become. Patrick Wells, for VOA News, Donetsk, Ukraine.